Welcome to the Hear My Heart broadcast where I talk about the matters of the heart. You can't understand a person without getting to the root, which is hearing them. I am your host, Tiffany Rochelle, affectionately known as the People's Cheerleader. Here's something I want to share about me. I'm an author, a speaker, a heart and a motivational coach, and I'm so excited that you've tuned in and we have the opportunity to grow together. I'm here to encourage and motivate you to be the best you ever. If you're feeling a little stuck or stagnated or you're having a hard time getting over some things, please know you're not alone and that you've come to the right place and you're listening to the right person to help you through that. So let's dive into today's show of Hear My Heart. Here we grow. Hey, hello, Hear My Heart Nation, and welcome to tonight's show. I am so delighted that you have decided to spend some time with me and my VIP. I think it is an awesome decision that you have made because you have the power of choice and you chose to be right here with me and my VIP. Um, And you decided to enhance your life a little bit. So tonight's VIP is a purpose-driven leader. And this guy right here has dedicated his career to empowering others and driving success. He's a renowned restaurant consultant. He's an author of the inspiring book, Take the Lead. And he is about to share his insights and expertise on effective leadership and motivation with us tonight. And guess what he's about to do? He's about to add to his growing resume that he is now a VIP of the Hear My Heart Show. So I get the privilege and the honor to introduce to you my VIP, Mr. Tracy Jones. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get it. How you feeling, Doc? Feeling good, feeling awesome. How's it going? Uh, I cannot complain. I am on top of the dirt and the dirt's not on top of me. So I'm feeling pretty good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Let's go, man. So glad to be excited on the show. Welcome, man. Oh, you're so amazing. Thank you. So I'm nosy. You're Let's such go. a sought out speaker and everybody wants a part of you. Tell me what's been your most favorite event thus far. What have you done thus far that's your favorite? I'm drinking tea for the record, okay? My first, (laughs) what I have done that just captured me is just really just taking a leap of faith Mm -hmm. and realizing, like, I can only rise as high as my level of thinking. Okay. So I decided, you know, instead of going to get paid, I -hmm. did my own event. I put everything together, you know, did the networking, and I brought the people together. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, it touched me in a way because I reserved the room for 40 chairs. Yeah. And it was during my homecoming. Okay. But this wasn't a big crowd. When I got to the library, set everything up, it was 12 mm-hmm. chairs. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. I only had three people registered. Okay. As I got going, uh-huh. we did a live stream as well, you know, so people was tuning in on a live screen. Mm-hmm. As I got going, I had people walking in saying, hey, I was looking at you on live screen, man. I just had to come get a part of it. So by the end of it, I had 11 people in the chairs. It was one seat left. I looked over. I said, God, that's you. I appreciate you. And I never looked back from there. I realized that like what I'm doing, like you on the right track. So from there, I never turned back. It's like, okay, move with faith. Just have trust, you know. So what made me do that is just you know, my 18 years of restaurant experience, I realized, you know, 90% of people struggle with procrastination. Mm-hmm. So when you say you're going to do something, you got to make it happen. Have and to. when you got a gift, you have to nourish your gift. Sure. So a part of me speaking, mm-hmm. in order for someone to book me, I book mm-hmm. myself. I took care of myself because at the end of the day, as you do the work, uh-huh. it's going to come to you. So. You're right. You're right. You know, what's amazing. I'm so, so super grateful that you actually shared that because mm-hmm. like some people will be like, oh, hypothetically, oh, I was at, let's just say T.D. Jake's thing. Oh, I was at Les Brown's thing. I was at, oh, he asked me to speak, to do whatever, whatever. Great. 
Mm-hmm. But one of my greatest events is the one that I did myself because that's something mm-hmm. that I had to believe in me to get taken care of. So when Thanks. you're saying that, I promise you, real life, right hand to the man, that blessed me for real because mm-hmm. for you to believe in you and you're like, that's the greatest event. You are the event. You're the main attraction. You are it. They are helping others to empower and impact their life. So that's me. I appreciate you. That's good. That you're like I did. <laughs> I'm I'm being honest. I have I feel like like a lot of like you say the Les Brown events. Like mm-hmm. I don't know if I told you, but mm-hmm. I'm a certified ETA speaker. Mm-hmm. I became a certified speaker under Dr. Eric Thomas. I've mm-hmm. been in the ET events. I didn't work mm-hmm. backstage. I didn't mm-hmm. seen it. You yeah. know, I learned and I feel like my job was to listen and apply, Absolutely. you know, and it's just like, you know, just because you're in that room, it's just like you learn when mm-hmm. when your time come, your time will come. Yeah. My time hasn't came for me to hit that stage with him yet. But mm-hmm. I know I must put the work in because mm-hmm. the reason I know this, like you in the room as mm-hmm. you listen, you apply, you grow. It's going to come to you. You it's know, so fun. by me putting my own event, that was big. It was it was me doing it. I networked it. Uh-huh. I marketed it. I spent my finances. I prayed about it. I stressed about it. And I got up there and made it happen, you know. And to me, like, it was a successful event. It was an co- accomplishment. Mm-hmm. I made connections, you know. And not only was was the room fit, I think it ended up with, you know, so many people online that was able to be touched, you know. And it just, you know, a lot of people, you know, just told me, continue to do what you're doing. Of course. You know? I like the fact that you believe so much in you. That's amazing. Because some people don't believe in themselves. But I'm like listening to you. You better be your greatest cheerleader. You better be your own cheerleader. And I learned. Can- I'm a, I don't mean to cut you short, Rochelle, but I What's- learned that nobody cares. You know, I realized like in order for people to care, about, it's like, Tracy, you have to care about you. Mm-hmm. Like I've been through pain at an early age. I've been through trauma. I've been through hardships, you know. So as a juvenile, Mm-hmm. People told me, Trace, you're going to be dead in jail for you 18, 19 years old. You know, I was young, wild, and reckless. Mm-hmm. But it was working at Sonic Drive in. Sonic mm-hmm. taught me life skills. It taught mm-hmm. me policy. It taught me how to move as a man. And once I did that and I got in the room mm-hmm. with these multimillionaires, these yeah. billionaires, and I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, I caught, you know, my best friend, I called him one day. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I'm in the room with all these millionaires, billionaires, bro. I'm barely surviving, you know, like, man, I'm good. he was like, something in my spirit say, Tracy, it's going to be you one day giving back to them youngsters. You know, if you in that room, it's a reason. If you see it, you can achieve it. You know, so I took it and I say, look, if money going to stop you from chasing your dream or doing what you got to do, then you're on the wrong path. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mm-hmm. took off with it. Yeah. I'm so grateful you did that. I'm so, but there is someone, see, so for me, Quick interjection since you want to cut folk off. I don't cut you off too. I didn't cut you off. I'll let you finish. But I believe in my heart of hearts, there are a plenty of people out there that cares. Sometimes we don't care to hear what some people are saying, but there are some people that care, but I think we should care about ourselves just as much as mm-hmm. others. I am one of them people. I care about a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And I care about seeing people win. I care about seeing people overcome. I care about seeing people become them if their authentic selves. So I'm one of them individuals that actually care about individuals. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are plenty other me's <laughs> that are around there that care about people. Mm-hmm. But sometimes we have um, these moments that you may not care to hear what that person mm-hmm. is saying to you. And mm-hmm. sometimes we allow that moment to live instead of saying, okay, I didn't like what she said right now. I didn't like what he says. Now you're like, I don't like that person. They don't care. Sure. They care. Mm-hmm. That's like, why they care. Cause they told mm-hmm. you, Hey, pull your pants up, stop sagging. You know, mm-hmm. Hey, I want you to come over here because they want you to be in the, in the room with the millionaires and the billionaires because mm-hmm. they see the successful individual that you can become and because they care about you they're like hey come around here you know i want to see you elevate i want to see you grow i want to see you love i want to see you become better i don't want to see you um being that 18 year old or that that guy that's going to be strung out dead or um that's going to be in jail by no i see more in you and i care about you that much that i really want to see greater for you and i'm gonna help you be around greater individuals and i want to see you become greater so there are people that care sometimes we just have to find them or be willing enough to say that was a moment that i didn't like that they said something but they still cool 
And you fight me on that, fight me. Yeah, I'm ready. You know, because I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. But I realized I was around people that cared about me. Mm -hmm. It was when I started to care for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's when I when I say you have to care for yourself. Should nobody care for you more than you? I agree. You know, and I realize a lot of times it's like a lot of times we don't understand who we are. Sure. You know, so as I understood who I are, I realized, you know, like Tracy, you do have people around you that really care for you. Mm -hmm. But until you care about what you've been through, till you're ready to change that, then nobody else really cares. So that's what I kind of meant when I said that. Okay, I heard you. I heard you. All right, fine. Okay, we ain't gonna belabor <laughs> the point. We get Let's it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. So tell me this. What made you get started in this restaurant industry? Because I know that's what your background is. You got such an extensive background in that. Talk to me about it. I started Sonic Drive-In when I was 16. I remember I wanted a pair of shoes. My mom told me she wasn't buying them shoes. I wanted them Jordans, so I went to work for two weeks. You remember which Jordans they were? Uh, I think it was like the 12s at the time. You know, it was it was like the, I don't remember what color, but it was the 12s. It, it was around the summertime, my birthday, you okay. know, June 18th. So it was around, it was like oh, right out. after my birthday, you know. So I went up there and applied and I got the job, worked a couple of weeks. And I got my shoes and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna keep the job, you know. So I, I worked at Sonic. I played baseball in high school. I played football, played soccer, got promoted to a manager, you know, during the high school. And it just Sonic taught me life skills. Like I would even go to football practice, go to work, leave work, go to a party, but I went to work first, you know. I know and, that's right. You know, I parted, I lived my life, but I realized, you know, at an early age, like, if I wanted to have something, like, I was going to have to put some in. And I was the guy that people say, like, bro, you're going to flip burgers all your life. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I ended up doing it, but not mm -hmm. only did I end up doing it, I ended up becoming an operating partner doing it. And I, and I feel like it's all because I didn't do it for the money. When I started mm -hmm. Sonic, I was making five fifteen an hour. Mm -hmm. you know, to, to be in a position to where I have ownership of Sonic, you know. One, and then what Sonic also gave me was this, like, it gave me an outlet to develop assets for myself, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm totally grateful for that, you know. And it's like without people, you know, without me being able to care for people, without me being able to receive the care for people, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to get where I'm at right now. So I'm so grateful for it. Okay. When did you learn you actually care about people? When did that last? I, I realized like I always been like this as a as just like I just want the best for people. Okay. But I realized like I get frustrated because it's like I'm hard on myself and it's like the way I am on myself, sometimes I was like that on people and I realized like Trace, you can't be like that on everybody. Mm -hmm. So you got to learn how to, you know, you got to learn people different language, you know. So I realized like once I learned how to develop goals, once I learned how to make sure everyone understood, like, this is what we aiming for. This is how we're going to do it. If this happened, this is what we're going to do. I realized it was easier to care for people. But I feel like I always care for people at an early age. I just had to learn how to care for people. Come on, it's the how. And sometimes <laughs> some of us are not committed to the how because everybody is different. I have three adult children and all three of them are different. Sure, they have the same mama and they got the same daddy, but all three of them are different. And I consider them to be like my little garden. And <laughs> one might be a, a one might be a lily, another one might be a, a rose, and another one might be an orchid. You mm -hmm. cannot care for all three of those that I made reference to the same. I can't water them every single day. You know, some of them need water every day. Mm -hmm. Others just need it once a week. One might need it, might be a cactus and I need it just, you know, every now and then or what, but they're all differently. And once we really realize how to cater to that individual, because everybody is just not the same. You got to learn. Care looks different to different mm -hmm. people. <laughs> You're recognizing their love languages. You're recognizing mm -hmm how they like to be appreciated because everybody doesn't like gifts. Everybody doesn't like touching. Everybody doesn't like affirmations. Everybody is different. So once you learn to to deal with them according to how they, they want to be loved, so to speak, mm -hmm. then it becomes more powerful. You're right. And you know, like Sonic has an acronym care that okay. I kind of break down. And, and like I tell people, you can utilize it in life. Like my employees say, Ms. Trace, how you use Sonic as in life? I say, okay. We're going to use care as an example. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. You should always show what? Compassion. Sure. Mm -hmm. You should always have what? Awareness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should always do what? Respect ourselves mm -hmm. and respect other people. Absolutely. And what else should we do? Mm -hmm. Empower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's care. Uh -huh. Each and every day. It's uh -huh. just like I learned like with young people, you just have to break certain things down and teach them why it's important. And once you teach them, like they mm -hmm. got it. And you know, yeah. that's what I learned right now. It's like I became a coach, you know, like I tell people all the time, I coach, train, motivate. I'm not yeah. trying to work hard. I'm not I'm not the construction worker, none of that. Like I use my mind, I want to mm -hmm. work smart, not mm -hmm. hard, you know. Good. So, as you, should. Right now. Yes. As you <laughs> should. That's what's yes. up. Remember about these three pillars of success? Uh huh. The the people, performance, and profit. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Me and my uh as I was developing, you know, I had to come up with my business plan because I started Tracy Jones and Associates and my you know, my speaking. So I'm like mm -hmm. over the 18 years of me being in Sonic, you know, with me producing my workbook, with me having to take the lead book, it's like, Tracy, how can you impact the restaurant? Mm -hmm. You know, no one's just gonna bring you in. People want solutions. Sure. So I'm like, what's the solution? It's a people. First thing, in order to have a restaurant successful, you got to be able to have the right people. Sure. The main thing people tell me all the time is, man, your energy. I mm -hmm. love your energy. I love your personality. Why? It's not about me. It's about the people. Mm -hmm. Once you get the right people, mm -hmm. it's about your performance. Sure. I, I developed a team. Now we performing. Okay. As we performing, what owners want? Uh -huh. Profit. Sure. As we can make profit, I can reward my I can reward my employees. Uh -huh. I can do things for my guests. I can do other things. And when you reward people, mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a system. It is. Now, now all I take and do is I teach that system. Mm -hmm. I teach them how to do. It. I done it for eighteen years. I know it worked. Yeah. I have seen people, you know, come under me, learn it. Man, go open your own restaurant. I didn't. I didn't mm -hmm. seen somebody do that. Mm -hmm. I didn't seen someone come under me, learn the real estate. Man, I'm gonna go into real estate. Yes. I seen a young lady come under me, start a la uh, uh what, what's the hair the lavish the weave, the weave. Hair company. The okay. weave, you know, making good it's just like it's a system. And I realized that's when I learned success mm -hmm. isn't a secret. Sure, sure. It's a system, it's okay. step strategies and methods. And that's why I chose to get around because mm -hmm. I realized like even though I coach people, it's like all great coaches have a coach. Okay. You know, so it's like you become what you hang around, mm -hmm. you know. So what are you surrounding yourself around? Mm -hmm. That's what I start asking myself so I can help people do better. I surround mm -hmm. myself around better people. Good stuff. What is, who's your, who's your favorite people to be around? Right now? Uh, myself. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How, you, you, you're really, you're really like, I'm really like for real. Uh -huh. you Lately like it's like. I've been through a lot in the, like the past two years. Mm -hmm. So once I moved out here to Atlanta, mm -hmm. my main focus was learning me. Even though I had learned me, I feel like I have grown into a different man. My mindset had changed. I grew. So I was feeling like, okay, Tracy, you're not connected to the same circle you connected to. So I'm going to be honest with you. I got in Proverbs every day. I started turning in getting closer to God because I feel like, God, I need you to be my strength. I need you to be my guidance. And as I did that, people starting to show up in my life, you know, the people that I need, not the people that I want. Right. So I, and, and I, and I'm just moving. Like, it's like, I, I tell people all the time, I'm in the moment. Okay. I'm, I'm in the moment. It's just like, it's a gift. I can't tell you where I'm going. I got goals. I got dreams. I got desires. But I know I'm on a journey right now. And it's like, I can't look left. I can't look right. I just got to keep keep focusing, you know. So I'm I'm, I'm excited when I'm around in the individual because it's like this person could have been anywhere. But they have that opportunity to be in my prison. It's the same thing when a person listened to me. They could have been listening to anybody. I'm excited that they get an opportunity to listen. So I'm hoping that they can take some and go listen. Not listen, not only listen, but go apply it. Mm -hmm. And if you apply it, you become better. You mm -hmm. take that, you go show somebody else. They become better. It's multiplication, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like that's how I'm going to impact and change one billion lives by learning, observing, noticing greatness within. That's that path I'm on right now. Good stuff. Yeah. I, you, I agree. My favorite saying to say is take heed to what you hear. 
So mm-hmm. there's a plenty of times that we will hear something, but do we actually take heed mm-hmm. and actually do what it is that we hear? I'll hear my mama say, go do the dishes and okay, I ain't do it, you know, or I'll hear that I need to go give somebody a hug. Let me smile at somebody today. Mm-hmm. It's just like, do I do that? And there's a plenty of times that I've just done that. I think I have an amazing smile that I didn't have to go pay for. He's mm-hmm. all mine. <laughs> and so I really appreciate this smile that I've been working hard for. But I'm saying mm-hmm. that to say there's been a plenty of people that I'm just like, I just want to say hello to you. And I'll mm-hmm. go and they're like, hey, who are you? And I'm mm-hmm. just like somebody that said hi to you. <laughs> And they're, they're like, no, but seriously, I needed your high. But I was grateful that I took heed to what I heard to go say mm-hmm. hi to you. I just wanted to say hi. And I'm not going to tell you about that particular conversation because that's that goes into a whole nother area. But I was <laughs> really grateful for that mm-hmm. moment that I took the opportunity to take heed to what I heard and just mm-hmm. go say hello to an individual. It was life changing for them and life changing for me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was super grateful. Tell me about your book. You can mm-hmm. make it, you know, put a plug in there a few times. Tell us about this book. Take the lead is about how top leaders are taking tapping into power by overcoming frustration. Okay. I realized a lot of people studied struggle with procrastination. Sure. Take the lead. Mm-hmm. teach you how to take accountability and responsibility for your life. Okay. Teach you how to set goals, mm-hmm. strategies. It's, it steps along the process, you know, so it's, it's so far, it's, it's been phenomenal. I have had so many people come to me, it's like, man, mm-hmm. it, it has transformed my life. And one thing I learned is like, you have to listen, you have to apply, you know, so it, it's, it's about taking accountability taking responsibility, you know, showing you the system to success. You know, I talk a lot about, you know, my journey, my 18 years talks about, are you the manager of your life or the leader of your life? A lot of times people go through their life just managing their life. Are you the manager of your life or the leader of your life? Talks about, you know, studying the right people, the path you're on, studying someone that's in their desired space Mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Talks about having a plan for your life, you know, so. Okay. about take the lead you know just it's on my website you know okay. www.tracydjones.com okay. also it's on amazon you know on that website you know you go to the website i have a free take the lead checklist okay. it gives you seven steps seven ways that take the lead in your life it's mm-hmm. free okay. after that i have a coaching program you know okay. that that we're doing you can sign up for the coaching program as well but take the lead has been transforming Oh, in, in my state, but you know, worldwide at this moment right now. So I'm so grateful for it and so thankful. But oh, it's yeah. about taking accountability, it's about taking responsibility and understanding that procrastination is a friend of fear and the enemy of greatness, you know. So well, you better drop that like you ain't said nothing. You just said it um and um and um and um and you better say it go. like it ain't it's, nothing. It's powerful. I'm, that I'm, is I'm a powerful you. Thing. Can you say it again? What is it? Procrastination. Procrastination. The greatest is a friend of fear uh-huh. and the enemy of greatness. You better say it, sir. And you yes. meant that too. The I second time that. you said it, you meant that. It's I believe the facial that. expressions that we I believe that because I tell yeah. myself all the time, Tracy, you're a healthy, happy, loyal, successful, faith-filled leader. Is that your is that your affirmation you say to yourself? Every day. Every day. That's Every day. And I and I think on it. I meditate on it. And I realize the only way you're going to be able to do that, you can't procrastinate. Okay. You say you're going to do something, you got to do it. What is the way that we can stop procrastinating? Do you have like There's a powerful no. tool? Do what you say you, it's simple. Okay. Do what you say you're going to do. Okay. For instance, okay. I'm going to give you five things. Okay. I well, just need on. you to listen and apply. We're gotcha. going to do five because I'm ready. All right. okay. I hear you. Let's go. Let's go. First uh-huh. thing is define your goals. Okay. Clearly, your short term, your long term goals. Like, know clearly your purpose and your direction. That's one. Uh-huh. Two, prioritize your goals. Okay. Identify what's most important, what needs to get done, what can wait. Mm-hmm. Three, create a routine, okay. a schedule. Identify, you know, the times that you're going to sleep. 
identify the times that you have leisure, a time that you're going to rest, that you're going to work. Mm -hmm. Four, set deadlines. Mm -hmm. That's going to put a sense of urgency on it. Mm -hmm. And five, just break it down. Simplify mm -hmm. it. Take the stress off you. Okay. That right there help you take the lead in your life right now if you just listen and apply. That's what's up. You sound like you got you sound like you got a page out of my book. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like my look, iron stop and iron. Let's go. It definitely does. <laughs> it definitely does. I think it's absolutely amazing. Thank you for sharing that because sometimes we'll tell the individuals information and we're like, hey, this is what you should do. But you just gave us five things that we can actually apply to our life to help us not to procrastinate, mm -hmm. to help us build and become better. Because sometimes we'll just hear directions. You just need to do better with your life. But how? You know, like, how do Take I become all the better? Time. Yes. So it's beautiful that you decided to share that with us because you're giving me encouragement to like, oh, okay, this is what I can do. And if you want more, mm -hmm. he gave you his website so you can go on down there and get Look, it. I'm ready. This is what I love to do. Like, I committed the rest of my life to it. Like, I want to see people win. But I mm -hmm. realized, like, whatever you want for yourself, it's it's all about the mindset. True. You know, so it's it's. I want to help people shift their mindset to be able to live the dream, live whatever they want to live. Because you're going to put the work in. So let's go, man. I'm so great. Look, hear my heart. What you say? In order to, look, hear my heart. You, it's ear and heart, right? In order to get to the heart, you got that. Let's go. Come let's on. Go, sis. <laughs> oh, I got a good student already. No, I'm playing with <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for sharing that. So look, we about to wrap up this show. But okay. your energy is amazing. Look at you. You done turned up. You done gave your five rules and you like, hey, let's I go. Am, you done actually turned me up a little bit like already. <laughs> 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 I love I love to see the energy and I swear your energy is amazing. When we were talking before, I was like, this guy, he's on the sun. <laughs> and I was super grateful. I kid you not. We're about go. to connect. This is we about to connect. We're coming back to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> need I told to be you. back. Oh, I don't say back. I'm gonna say you need to come on down here to Florida. You ain't uh -huh. gotta live. I ain't coming back up there to live. However, comma, we're about to do some stuff and we're about to start changing this world one person at a time. But we're about to That's make some so. stuff happen. We're about to make some stuff happen. So we're about to wrap up the show. At the end of this show, I always do a game called this lap, right? Okay. So I'm going to ask you three questions. Yes, I said three. One, two, and three. <laughs> do you remember that? Please don't. Please don't make me feel like I'm just old all by myself. Please tell me you remember that commercial. Please tell me, oh my God, you don't remember the commercial. I'm old. It was a Tootsie Roll. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm old all by myself. Got it. So, <laughs> we go on play. This <laughs> all right, thing. I'm with it. Let's go. Yeah, I'm with it. Let's go. I want you. I'm going to ask you a question. Is it this or that? And okay. then you got to tell me the reason why you chose what you chose. Ready? Okay. Hang out on the front porch. Or the back porch? Back porch. <laughs> Why? Because normally I'm going to have me a lawn chair. I like to sit under the trees. I'm more of an outdoor nature person. And it, it allows me to just sit there and get in sync with my thoughts compared to being being out front and being distracted. I'd rather just like sit out alone and be to myself. Okay. I got you. All right. You don't want nobody being nosy seeing what you're doing in the back, huh? <laughs> Yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Second question: Be known as an active person, or be known as a communicator? <laughs> I have struggled with communication, but I'm always active. But I would say it depends in which way. Which way you mean? Mm -mm, that's your question. Is you? I need you. It's your interpretation of how you feel. So, you want to be an active individual, or do you want to be a communicator? Yeah, I think you're already I'm, I'm, a communicator, though. Yeah, because you can be active, but you know that don't mean you you effective being active. Mm -hmm. I want. I would say being effective communicator. That way, if I can be effective communicator, I can be able to reach people, and hopefully, if I can reach them, then I can get things done. Okay. Last question. You ready for it? Let's go. A second chance at love 
or a second chance at your career? Man, I'm going on my career right now. I chose love <laughs> two times. Wait, it was down. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm going on my career. <laughs> my career going to help me take care of my kids. My career going to help me take care of everything I need. And if love come in the process, then love come. I'm not chasing love again. You I tried. I'm just gonna love my career mm -hmm. right now. Huh? Uh, that's it. <laughs> you 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 love my career, then you making love me. <laughs> that's it right now. <laughs> I'll tell you now. I'm over you, pause. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being you. honest. <laughs> and I appreciate your honesty. I promise you. If you haven't been nothing else with me since we have <laughs> known each other, you've been honest. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Tell me this, what's your final word? What is the life-changing word that you want us to remember that's coming from you? What do you want this, what story do you want to tell the world? I want to tell the world, I want to tell people that mm -hmm. you must believe in yourself. Yeah. It's like we have unlimited potential, we have unlimited beliefs. Do not let what you've been through challenge you like challenge yourself daily challenge your belief system challenge you know yourself get done and know that if you set a goal you can achieve it and no one stands in your way but you exactly. and realize that you cannot procrastinate once again procrastination is a friend of fear and an enemy of greatness if you right. want to take the lead in your life learn observe and notice greatness within you that's what's up i really appreciate it that's some good wisdom i hope you guys took some good notes um, and that you're going to be able to apply this wisdom that we have heard from Mr. Jones. Uh -huh. From me and Mr. Mr. Jones. Jones. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. <laughs> Mr. Jones. Okay, I'm sorry. Nevertheless, <laughs> I'm super grateful that you decided to, to be a part of the show. Thank you for being one of my very special VIPs. I'm super grateful for you. Everyone out there, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so grateful that you decided to take up 30 minutes with us. <laughs> And we grateful, hope thank you're you. huh? I say grateful, thankful. I, right, yes. Yeah. So we hope that your life has been enhanced and your life will forever be changed. Tune in with me next week at the same Hear My Heart time at the same Hear My Heart channel where I'll have another VIP that's going to help to enhance our lives. Uh, see you next week. Grace and peace. Thanks for hearing my heart. <laughs> Oh, that was that cute. <laughs>